The motivation for uh, this uh, research that has led into the development of uh, what we call the smart parking idea comes from some pretty amazing statistics that I myself was not aware of. One out of three drivers in any typical urban area is just cruising around looking for a parking spot. It takes about eight minutes on average for such a driver to find a parking spot, consuming something of the order of thousands of tons in carbon dioxide. If you combine all of these, you see that uh, the motivation is to provide convenience to the drivers, lower the congestion, but also reduce the amount of fuel consumed and also reduce pollution. They will spend less time cruising, searching for a parking spot, which will reduce their time and also reduce the traffic congestion. This is our miniature city, uh, which we use for testing the smart parking concept. There are streets, there are blocks, there are traffic lights, the blue lines indicate parking spots, and the little robots are the vehicles. There are certainly companies out there that are tackling this problem and aware of it. They all come under the uh, general heading of guidance based parking. But here's the problem. Just because you know that there's a parking spot available someplace, it does not mean that it's guaranteed yours. There could be one parking spot in a fairly popular area and about you know, 20 or 30 cars that all want to get there. It can make the problem worse by creating local congestion around the area where everybody is competing for that one parking spot. Our concept of smart parking eliminates that competition using the idea of reservation the smart parking system will find the parking spot which is closest to the destination and also least cost. The system will continuously seek to upgrade your parking spot. It will give you the location and the approximate price, at which point, of course, that parking spot is now reserved for you. There is a device, which is the sensor, and there are three lights, green, red, yellow. If the light is green, that means that the parking spot is available. If a car goes by this parking spot, it can take it. Once a parking spot is reserved, the light turns red. When the right owner of that reserved parking spot arrives and is in proximity, then in a wireless fashion, that is recognized, then the light will then turn yellow. When you park, the yellow light turns off and we're done. If you try to break the law and park in that parking spot that was reserved for somebody else, the red light will start blinking and in some implementations we have uh, buzzers, that's an indication that you've broken the law. The smart parking project is a good example of uh, what a systems engineering endeavor might be. Alone, each one of these components cannot perform the function of the total system. We bring all of these capabilities together to be able to provide better quality of life the Smart Parking project involves a number of students. One undergraduate student helped with developing some of the software and even a high school student that uh, contributed through data collection. In the summer of uh, 2011, we were able to deploy the system in one of the garages at Boston University. You can request a parking spot at this particular garage, reserve it, and go get it. Being able to demonstrate it in a real-world environment is certainly an important milestone to get investors interested in it. It's very exciting to be part of an idea that benefit people in real life. Ultimately, this could be something which works in conjunction with your GPS. It is not something which is exclusively intended to work on a smartphone. It's our job to help that uh, research get into the hands of the public. We hope that every city will be able to adopt this idea of smart parking. It's a novel solution to a large problem.